Good morning everyone. Today we are going to discuss with the lesson number 11 that is teeth, beak and claws. In this chapter we will discuss on the following topics. Teeth of animals, beaks, feet and claws of birds and the last book work. As we are knowing that food is very important for everyone, while eating food, living organisms intake the food item and they cut and chew the food so that it can easily digest it. In this process, tongue and teeth help the animals which is present in the mouth. The meaning of tearing and clutch the meaning of tearing is to pull pieces off and the meaning of clutching is to hold. Teeth of animals. Like human beings, animals also have various type of teeth that depend mainly upon the food that they eat. Teeth of herbivores. As we are knowing, humans have incisors, canine, premolar and molar. In the same way, the types of teeth depend upon the herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. Now I am going to explain the function of incisors, canine, premolar and molar. The function of incisors is to bite the food item, canine is to tear the food item, premolar and molar. The function of premolar and molars are tearing and grinding, crushing the food item. In herbivores, animals have sharp incisors in the front part of their teeth and the strong flat molars in the back to grind the food. Herbivores like cows, sheep, giraffes, they can move their jaws up, down and side by side to chew the food and to grind the food. Teeth of carnivores. Carnivores are those animals who eat meat. Teeth of carnivores that is canines of carnivores are long, sharp and pointed so they can tear the food. Their molars are also very sharp for slicing rather than chewing then swallowing the food chunk for example tiger, lion, dogs etc. Teeth of omnivores the animals that eat both plants and animals are called omnivores. A very important thing that humans also fall in this category. In this case, the canines and incisors cut the food in small parts and flat molars at the back grind the food bits. For example, bear, chimpanzee and raccoons have such type of teeth. Beaks. Bird don't have teeth to bite, cut and chew. Beaks are hard and pointed. They use their beak to collect food item, clean and scratching bodies, feed their young ones, collect building materials to build nest and most important to protect themselves from enemies. Cleaning and smoothing of feathers with beaks is known as preening. Types of beak, short, short, hard and strong beaks. In this picture you are able to see the beak of the bird that is very short and hard and they are very strong. The birds who have short, hard and strong beak to open and crush their food, these type of uh, beaks are known as crushing beaks, for example, these beaks are present in sparrows and pigeons etc. Sharp and curved beaks. Parrots have sharp, curved and pointed beaks to crack nuts, hard, seed and fruit. In this picture you are able to see the shape of sharp and curved beaks. Sharp and hooked beaks. In this picture the shape of the bird is the shape of the beak of the bird is known as hooked beak. This type of beak is present in flesh-eating birds to pierce and tear the flesh. 
the beak is known as piercing and tearing beak for example eagle and vulture have such kind of beaks broad and flat beaks this type of beaks is present in water birds that help them to dig in muddy water the holes are present on either sides of beak so that water to flow out while keeping the insects and worms in the beak in this picture you are able to see that one hole is we are able to see one hole and this in the same way the another hole is in the another side chisel shaped beaks this type of beak help to make a hole in the trunk of the tree and to make nest and to dig out insects for food no, known as chiseling beaks for example ho, uh, hopuis and woodpeckers long narrow and pointed beaks this type of beak are known as probing bee beaks that help help birds to look for the nectar inside the flowers and suck it for example hummingbird and sunbird long broad and pointed beaks this type of beak help the birds to catch fish for example cranes stork herons etc long and slender beaks this type of beak help the bird to catch their prey under water for example penguins feet and claws of birds birds have different types of claws that perform different function like walk climb hold food swim perch etc the claws of birds have long curved nails to protect themselves the shape of a bird bird's feet and claws depend on their food habit and the way they move around first one is wading birds like cranes and herons have long legs with spread out toes that help them to walk in muddy and shallow water without sinking and the meaning of shallow is the places where water is not deep in this picture you are able to see the three to, uh, three toes are in front and one toe is in the back side next one is swimming in this the birds have three toes in front and one small toe at the back the toes have the toes are joined by flaps are called webs that works as oars to paddle through water for example ducks and sand swan in this picture you are able to see the three toes in the front side one toe in the back side and the webs that protect them that help them to swim in water climbing the birds which have two toes in front pointing upward and two toes at the back pointing downward that help them to hold climb and hold tightly to trees for example woodpecker and parrots in this picture two toes are in the front and two toes are in the back side perching the birds have three slender toes in front and one at the back that help them to hold branch firmly for example sparrows and crows scratching birds have strong legs that with three, uh, three toes with sharp nails in front and one at the back this help them to scratch the ground and dig out grains and insects a very uh, common example is hens flesh eating the birds who eat small birds and animals have very strong sharp and large curved claws are called talons 
which help them to catch, crush and carry their prey for example hawk, eagle etc. Running in this birds uh, they have long powerful bare legs and strong feet with two sharp claws on each foot foot they use their leg to defend and they are adopted to run very fast and that can injure or even kill an attacker for example ostrich now the book work a find out the names of at least 10 words in the word grid this you all will do by yourself b filling the blanks with correct answer answers are given here you all will mark in your book c write t for true and f for false all the answers are here in the same in the same way you all will mark in your book this is last match the following answers are given just in front okay first climbing words woodpecker second talons hawk third shifting beaks duck fourth probing beaks hummingbird fifth crushing beak sparrow this is all about this lesson thank you so much